Hey everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Chad's Trends and Things and back working on the little two by four foot in scale layout. As you can see, some work has been done on it. I figured I'd update you now on what I got done. That way I keep working on it and I'll just keep updating. So we'll start the front. Like you can see, get the shadow. I've cut foam out and made like a drainage concrete ditch with rocks. Nothing's glued down here yet. And there's my big boulders on top. I'm just It'll all be scenic and weeded, but that's just the start, and I am not done with the rock either. But I stopped and was like, you know what, I need to shoot some footage showing what I'm working on here. So, that little scene, I built this little hill up, which as you can see, a couple rocks on it, kind of come cliffs coming out. Church kind of sitting here. This whole scene is going to be one scene up on top. You'll see more as we go, but you can kind of get an idea of what's sitting there. A little church and then i've also done a corner hillside here at the rocks and everything this is not glued down this is free to go i can turn it and the reason why is i need to paint it all and i thought it'd be a lot easier painting it before it's glued down so i can get everything make sure everything's painted good and all that but when i paint it i'm gonna paint this i will paint all this around the same color and i'm gonna come back and paint over these rocks so they're everything's the same color it's just i can only get these in this color this all comes from Michael's, and that's why they are, but like I said, I will paint them all, so all the rocks and setting all that are going to all blend together and be the same color when it's said and done. And I do got more, as you can see. But, yeah, just a quick update in this new video, and when I get back to work, do some more painting. I get the cliffs and everything all painted where I want them to get this all painted, rocked down, glued down, and start seeing again, as you can see. I know I'm only going to do so much because I have not got the border around it yet. And I need to get that so I can work right up to the edge and make it all seamless going all the way around. So, I'll check back with you in a few, few. Okay, before I move on with painting it all, I decided I'm going to go ahead here and get the edges put on. Get it all boxed in. That way I can, when I do start the scenery, I can run it to the edges. See the gaps? I'll fill the gaps all in. They'll be filled in. I'll run the gap. And the outside of this layout, at least backside, I'm going to use this stuff that I bought at Walmart. Comes over in the Christmas stuff normally. I'm just going to cut it and kind of fill in some of these areas around here. Easy. It's going to be a movable layout. I don't want stuff falling no more than what it has to. So anyways, get to work. Get the outside layers put on. And I'll check back in with you in a few. And back with an update. As you can see... Got the fascia glued on, kind of messed with. Got the rough scenery back in this back area, coming through the tunnel. Need to work on the rocks some more, get them better colored. Highlight them more. Church glued down, little entrance. It's all glued down. Once this dries, I'll 100% start going back through and fixing places, cleaning stuff up, adding bushes, trees, all that good scenery. But yeah. And the track back here ballasted back around this back corner. My goal is get this part done, then I'll turn around and start working because the town goes in that middle. So I'm not doing a lot until I figure out what buildings I'm going to use and everything else. But I figure I get this back edge all done, the whole church scene and everything done. I did use this stuff from Walmart here and over here. And I did blend it in with some of my regular scenery. But just save scenery. I don't think it looks bad in them areas. I'm going to put a bunch of trees on both them corners, so it'll all get filled in. But yeah, just a quick look at where I am. I'll check back when I got more done. Okay, I'm back in an update. Been working around the ditch area, a little culvert. Added some trees, rocks. I still got to put some bushes and just some other underground, underbrush, I should say, type stuff on it. Balance around the track going through. Lightened up the rocks a little bit. Added a couple trees behind the church. And then a bunch of trees up here on this top corner. Anyways, I think that's all I'm going to do in this video because I try to keep my videos shorter. So, of course, painting, sanding and painting down the edge be one of the last things I do. I think the next video I'll do the underbrush. I'm definitely going to work on the whole church scene, you know, the tombstones and the beautiful white picket fence going around the 
little cemetery up here and all that. But yeah. So, going to town on it all. Some work to do down back here on the bluff, too. But, yeah. Anyways, if you like this video, crush the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. I love hearing from you. And I'll see you next time on Chad's Trains and Things. Thanks for watching.